So how do we Jesus followers respond to all of this? I can tell you guys, this stuff is incredibly polarizing. People don't have a whole lot of grace for anyone who disagrees with them. In fact, I know that some of the words that I have spoken this morning will be considered reckless, hateful, and transphobic. Because for so many, tolerance is not adequate. You have to affirm or you're hateful. I hope that's not how God sees it. In the end, it doesn't matter a whole lot what you think of me. It doesn't matter a whole lot what I think of me. What matters is what God thinks of me. And if God thinks I'm hateful, I'm in trouble. We try to speak God's truth with God's grace because there's no grace without truth and no truth without grace, right? What it boils down to is this, guys. Did God get it right? Do you think God got it right? That's being tested. That's being challenged. The truth is all of us challenge it from time to time. Or maybe it boils down to this. Do you think there's a big G God at all? And do you trust Him even when you don't understand Him? Do you trust Him even when you disagree with Him? That's what faith is, guys. We're Jesus followers. If and when our world is at odds with God, we're going to stand with God, His truth, His grace. And listen, we want to do life with people who are trying to figure out what it means to do life with God. So if you are a sinner who wants to hang with other sinners who are trying to do life with God for God, God's way together, you are welcome here. It does not matter to us what sin you are struggling with. If you've been canceled by Jesus' followers in the past, I hope you don't feel canceled here, but we will not compromise on God's truth. Neither will we ever intentionally compromise on God's grace. We can mess up. Guys, we're all sinners. Every single one of us needs a boatload of grace. So just be grateful that God's love for us never, ever, ever quits. Do you buy that? Be grateful that Jesus made it possible for every single one of us sinners, every single one of us to be reconciled with God if we'll bend our knees and accept Him as our Savior and our Lord.